Hi, my name is Munisa Halim. Hi, my name is Dominic Hall. And congratulations, guys. You finally made it up to Heights. The next four years of your life are going to be some of the coolest, hardest, funnest years of your life. But this is only if you work hard and do what you need to to be successful. Because what you do in high school follows you for the rest of your life. Right, you can trust us. Heights is hard. But luckily, you have two people like us to tell you and give you some tips. Exactly. In the next couple of minutes, we are going to give you a few tips on what you need to know to survive high tide. We're going to show you three things. We're going to show you the people, the places, and the procedures that go down in Heights. Oh, and by the way, welcome to Heights High School. The first place you will need to know about is your small school office. Every small school has its own office that is full of staff willing to help you. The main people you will want to get to know are your secretary, the counselor, the social worker, and your principal. Hi, my name is Mrs. Cooper, Cleveland Heights High School, representing the real school office. I'd just like to say to the eighth graders, welcome to the high school and have a successful year starting in ninth grade. Hello, I'm Michael Dixon, counselor in the Legacy New Tech School at Cleveland Heights High. You might ask yourself, what is a counselor? Well, counselors are here for academic guidance, college and career planning, and personal issues. We like to think of ourselves as your case managers or your go-to people when you have questions you need answered. We are both proactive and reactive, meaning we may come to you to your classroom with a guidance lesson about college and career planning, or we may be here when you have struggles in your life, academic or personal. We can help you plan your life to reach your career goals, or we can simply be here to support you when you're dealing with some tragic issue, confusion, or simply normal developmental issues in your life. We as counselors are here to help you grow into the awesome and successful people you are meant to be. Hi, my name is Carol Yu and I am a school social worker in Renaissance School. I wanted to share with you a little bit about what school social workers do. We are hired by the district to work in teams with the guidance counselor and principals and teachers and all school staff to make sure that we can have the best possible outcome for your student in their education. What we do is we work on academic and non-academic barriers to success. These might include uh, bullying or harassment, uh, grief and self-harm, depression, um, mental illness, problems at home with the family, problems at school with their peers or um, boyfriend issues. Really anything that crosses our table, we can try to problem solve with your student and you to try to make their day the best that it can be. Uh, we are readily available. You can always call us. The students can stop by. We also work really hard on attendance because we know that when students attend their classes, they have a much higher rate of success in both learning the material and their grades. So please call your school social worker if you have any um, challenge with your student and um, we're here for you. Thanks. Hello, I'm Mr. Nora. I'm the Mosaic School Principal here at Cleveland Heights High School, and I'm one of the principals here. And uh, why would you come and see a principal? What would you need from a principal? Well, you might come and see your principal if you're having a problem with your schedule. You might come and see a principal if you need advice on how to get extra help, or if you're looking for a club or activity to be involved with. You might come and see your principal if, uh, if, 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 you're, if you're not happy with a, with a friendship or, or something is bothering you, basically a principal is just another fabulous resource, a person for you to come and see uh, when you need an answer on something. So that's what a, a principal can help you with and always feel free to come and see one of the principals here at Cleveland Heights. If you can't find your principal, you can look for another one and we always work with each other's students and of course our students. At the beginning of school, in between classes and after school, you will find yourself in the hallway. It's important not to spend a lot of time here. You have to get to class on time. Don't be this guy.
in our name. You have four minutes to get to class. If you are not in the room when the bell rings, your teacher might not let you in. If you can't get into class, you have to go and sit silently in the tardy room, and you will receive a Saturday school. Missed classes lead to missed lessons and poor grades. Don't get distracted and get to class on time. can be a very confusing place to try and find your way around. So instrumental on this beat, boy. lost or can't find a room, be sure to ask the teacher or security guard. They will tell you where to go. Thanks. Every stool in that heights is assigned a locker. Don't keep your stuff in anyone else's locker and don't let anyone keep their stuff in yours. You don't want to get stuck without your stuff and your friend isn't around. Make sure that you put your locker combination in a safe place. Write it on a piece of paper and put it in your wallet or purse. Or write a note about it in your cell phone. That way you will never forget it. And no one can ever get into your locker. Sweet. Be careful how much stuff you pack into your locker. It can get stuck. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you cannot open your locker, find the security guard to help you. They can usually be found at each end of the hallway. Damn, can't get this open. I think I need a security guard. Hey, excuse me, man. can you hear me in my locker real quick? No problem, no problem. Yeah, man. It's this one right here. Huh? 
Is it jammed? If you can avoid it, don't put your viables in your locker and always make sure your locker is firmly shut and that you turn the dial to lock it before you walk away. Otherwise, anybody can get into your locker. How much do I can sell this for? How much do you think I can sell this for? I don't think you can, which you can get to your grandma, mom. She'll love it. What's up? In order to get into the cafeteria, you need to have your ID. The security guard will scan your ID when you enter. Do not let anyone else use your ID number to get into the cafeteria. If you do, you will not be allowed to eat lunch. In the cafeteria, there are four places you can go to to get something to eat. First, there is the salad bar and the sandwich center. Then there is the origin station. There is also the pizza station and outtakes. Outtakes is the place where you can get snacks and things of the sort. The library is a great place to go in the morning after school or during your lunch period. Hello and welcome to the Heights High School Library. My name is Mrs. Bloomberg and I'm one of your librarians. Between two and three hundred students visit the library every day. They come here with a class, to check out books, to work independently, or sometimes to get help finding information. We hope that you'll be one of them. The library is open every morning at 10 to 8. We're open every day after school until about 4.15, except for Tuesday. We're closed after school on Tuesday. You don't need a pass or your ID to get into the library before or after school. Over 100 students come to the library every day during their lunch hour. If you would like to, you just need to have your ID card to get in. We have a great selection of current novels by popular authors, and we are always taking suggestions. We also carry many of the titles you will need for required reading in your classes. Your ID card is your library card. Your library is a great place to get help with research. Your librarians can help you find the information you need in both our large collection of print, nonfiction books and in our virtual reference collection. You have access to our collection of online databases and ebooks from any internet access computer in the world 24 hours a day. We will be happy to show you how to use this amazing resource. Just like in middle school, everyone gets a laptop. Near the cafeteria, there is a laptop repair center where you can go and get help for when your laptop is not working. When you take your laptop to the laptop repair center, Craig, the IT manager, will assist you with any problems that you have with your laptop from where your wireless isn't working all the way up to cracked screens. If there's a problem that cannot be fixed at that moment, Craig will give you a laptop repair ticket in which you will have to fill out in order to get your laptop back after it has been properly fixed. If your laptop has been severely damaged, such as a cracked screen, you will have to fill out a student laptop obligation form in which you will have to pay at the end of the year. We hope we have been able to answer a couple of your questions and help you out. And if you take our advice, the transition to high school should be super easy. Just remember, there's always people who assist you. All you have to do is ask. These have been a couple of tips from Munisa Halim and Dominic Hallmays. Peace. One love. We out.